price of $9.99 or more. The Black Friday mattress sale going on now only at Ashley. The city of Rockford has many unique and historical items that help mold its character in the way Midway Village Museum will unveil a new exhibit called Rockford Revealed, which highlights the unique features of Rockford's history. Joining me today is Luke Frederickson, who is the marketing director for the Midway Village Museum, to tell us a little bit more about this exhibit. Hi, mm. Luke. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks for joining. This is a very interesting exhibit. So kind of let's just start with the idea behind it. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the idea behind it kind of grew out of the, 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 the hotel itself, which, as most people know, was, was sort of a, uh, taking something that had been old and falling apart and, and give it some new life and, and rebuild it right back in, in Rockford's downtown center. Um, and so we, uh, we worked with the, with the leaders there and realized they had some existing uh, uh, sort of display cases that were part of the, the showroom in the original uh, industrial building that seemed like a perfect place to highlight some of the history of the building and uh, the Rockford in general. Oh, wow. So what are some of those items in the display mm -hmm. cases that people can see or really just in the exhibit overall? Well, there's basically four elements. There's four tall cases and uh, one focuses on the peaches, one focuses on the sock monkey, <laughs> one focuses on uh, Rockford's downtown and how it's evolved over time, and the fourth one talks about the history of the building itself where the hotel is. So I know we were talking a little bit earlier, and the exhibit was unveiled last week, Thursday, correct? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So can people still attend the event? Can you kind of talk about when they can see the exhibit, if it's free, what's the timeline for them? Well, it's now part of the, the, uh, the tower kitchen and bar in, in the hotel, and uh, yeah, you, it'll be there indefinitely. We're hoping it stays up for quite a while. Uh, a lot of neat stuff to see. And um, they do have, for about a month, I believe they're going to do have some themed cocktails and food that are sort of oh. tangentially related to the. So they I have will some be at peaches. That one. <laughs> yes, right. Some peaches, peach flavored cocktail. I didn't, I didn't sample that. And something I don't, I think with bananas for the sock monkey, I don't know. <laughs> you should have brought some. What yeah. were you thinking? Yeah. I'm just well, kidding. No, yeah. I think that's such a cool exhibit, especially the sock monkey, because sure. I think a lot of people, when they think of Midway, the sock monkey is definitely the first yeah. thing they think yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So what would you say when someone visits the exhibit is the top three things they should really see? Well, I, I think to me, um, there's the timeline of the peaches is pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the movie version of the peaches. Um, but it's neat to see the pictures of the real players, learn about uh, how it ha actually happened in Rockford for the 12 years that it was in existence and the four years they won the championship. Then there's, of course, the fun sock monkey stuff that is neat there. Um, you know, it's, it, they're cuddly, they're fun, and, and, and the whole backstory to the, to the knitting, Nelson Knitting Company that created the sock monkey is, is neat, too, because Rockford was a knitting capital of the country for many, many years. And uh, so that's, it's a fun way to, to have some meals, have some drinks, and learn a little bit too. Well, it sounds like an amazing exhibit that people need to go and visit yeah, and sure. really get some you know, history behind Rockford and understand yeah. it more, especially if well, you're community not. Community pride. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not used to the city and it's something that you're new visiting. So thank you so yeah. much for sitting down mm -hmm. with me and talking about it today. Very exciting yeah. stuff.